Hey guys and Monkey Master, welcome to a new video. Today in this video I'm going to be doing another scratch tutorial on how you can make a sprite shoot out a bullet. So here's what you should be able to end up with. For example, I've made a tank and I'm able to shoot bullets out straight out of the front with the bullet always facing the right direction and hiding when it gets to the end. Okay, so here's the first little bit of code, which is for our sprite, which is just a very simple circle with a uh, square on the end. Obviously, you can change it to however you want. So getting onto the code, we have the up arrow, and it makes our character go up as normal, and down makes our character go down. Obviously, you can change uh, the different uh, speeds. But this time, the left arrow actually makes the sprite turn around. So this means uh, our movements will be more precise, rather than just going, uh, you know, that way, that way that way and that way we can turn around to whichever angle we want as is shown there and because we'll need this in the future i've made a variable which is for all sprites and it's called tank direction then you just need to put set tank direction to direction and if you put on show it should appear at the top okay so now onto the bullet this is just a very small square which is uh, if i just click on this it's only a little it's smaller than uh, where the bullet's actually going to come out of so it doesn't show but it's hidden so it wouldn't anyway but just so it looks realistic it's smaller than where it comes out and here is all the code you're going to need in all honesty it isn't much because this is just basically a repeat of this so let me walk you through this when i start the bullet's gonna hide so it can't be seen through here i actually didn't need that i was just doing it so i could uh you know experiment and so it looks neat i've used the variable we made so if you use point in direction and then actually drag in the variable it should work so instead of an actual number that you've set it'll use the direction that the tank's facing just to show that this works i can make another one of these direction ones but for the bullet and this should be the same and there you go. Now I've done the exact same thing. When you turn around, the position is the exact same on both of them. Okay, so here's the actual shooting. So again, to make it all a little bit nicer, I've made it so that when you press space, it does shoot, but it waits a few seconds until it's past here because it will shoot from the middle. So you don't want a bullet to be coming out from here. You want it to be coming out from the very tip of that, like normal. So it'll move about 25 steps. Obviously, you need to change that on uh, how big your actual sprite is and how fast it will be coming out. Now, obviously, it's hidden until then. And as soon as it's gone that amount of steps, it will show. And I've put repeat until touching the color black. So I've made a little outline around here, which signifies when uh, the bullet should disappear. So my bullet will move 10 steps until it touches this, then it will disappear. And if you don't press space, it'll go to sprite 1. That's why I use the if then else. Now, because I don't want there to be only one bullet coming out of the tank, I want it to shoot quite fast. So I've put another if key space pressed then, then I've put wait one second. So this is actually going to be going on while this is happening. So that everything happens a lot faster and you'll be able to shoot another bullet while that one is still through the, the air. So then I've put create clone of myself. So that's basically making a replica of the sprite. And the when I start as a clone is basically the when uh, green flag clicked for this one, the original. So basically, seeing as it's all going to be repeated, I've literally copied the exact same thing onto this. So that means you'll be able to shoot bullets for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please leave a like down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!